funny. Only because suspect be going in on people. But damn, life comes at you fast. One day you had no jumper. The next day you're in somebody's basement with a flashlight and a camera. Considering yourself a streamer. I don't know. It's so easy to dish it out and talk crazy about people. And oh, he sucks. And he sucks. And he sucks. And and then um, now you're in somebody's basement. And you got a flashlight on your phone. You got a PS2. You said, hey, we're going to start streaming Def Jam 2009. And we're going to play NBA 2K4. I don't know. That's why I'm really like, I don't know if I should even be making this a comical situation. Because there might be a mental health issue that needs to be addressed. One day you're at no jumper. Woo, big no jumper. Yeah, the biggest, biggest. Hey, bro. All that shit's cut. I got to cut your water off. And it's tough, man. Just, just, just look at this, man. Oh, my God. I have interviews all lined up all this month. Bro, that's wild, bro. My boy's a no jumper. And they got bro in the basement right now. He's a basement warrior. What Gillian Wallow say? He's a basement warrior right now. From one of the biggest podcasts on the West Coast platform. And really, why I wanted to make the... This is rough. This is rough, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nah, it's like game banging. It's not gonna make you the best podcaster. Nah, it's because it's gonna. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It, 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 it doesn't boost your podcast. It boosts your rapper. We definitely. Some people just go to prison and come out and make a whole podcast just based off their prison experience. Bro, so you can game bang with Tiger and make a whole podcast based off their game. And this is why him and other hosts that No Jumper are currently in the unemployment line. No diss. I mean, it's, it's, you know, kudos to you. You're on a platform with 5 million people for multiple years. I don't think I should have any sympathy for you, but some empathy is applied. Cool, whatever. You're on a platform with 10 million subscribers. The reach is crazy, and you niggas want to talk about gangbanging all day. You niggas don't want to have no pre-production meetings. You niggas want to just talk about uh, pushing P and, and the bitch got to do this, the bitch got to do that. Well, almighty suspect, what did you get out of that equation? Hmm? Pushing P. If you're willing to sip a double cup on a podcast where millions of people watch monthly, you, you shouldn't be in front of a camera. I, I'm sorry, bro. No, I'm not sorry. I'm actually not sorry. I didn't sleep in my car and spend years and sacrifice my life to uh, be uh, fucking sympathetic. No, no. I'm going to speak my piece. Let's be honest here. You do have potential. There's a lot of times where suspect be cooking. You're like, oh, shit. Sus knows some knowledge about the game. And he's partially responsible for that that sound that was booming back with Draco and back with uh, Frosty and all that. Like he's re he partially responsible. Give him his credit. But in terms of podcasting, it's oh we oh we. I feel like when I watch Suspect, a lot of times I got this this bravado, this ego as like you know. And you should have this confidence. You should carry yourself highly. But um, even with bro, bro blocked me because I didn't want to pay him for a promo. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. The fact that he was a rapper for multiple years, and I have the same or if not this, uh, more views than him. So, you know, Allah is most merciful. You feel me? It's in his hands, right? So I, I, when he blocked me back then, I was like, who's this little nigga with 500 subs? He, you know, blocked me, think I was a nobody. But now it's like we average the same amount of views, brother. <laughs> that, that, but just to the younger generation, just work hard. You'll catch up to niggas. Don't look at niggas. To keep a tunnel vision. All of these niggas, when I have 500 subs, I knew I'd be. Feel me? So keep a tunnel vision. But at the end of the day, bro, you you got to do some soul searching. If I'm on the... Listen, I link with Adam one time. And look what the fuck I did. You niggas been with Adam for years. And you niggas' platforms are still the same. Then the numbers you get on no... Y'all, not even you, sus. I ain't going to grill you too hard. But just all of y'all in the space, 
Y'all don't even know the fucking resources y'all have, and you guys didn't even utilize it. It's too late. It's fucking too. Now you want to stream. Now you want to stream. Now you want to stream. And then he said some shit. I was trying to find. He was like, I'm not trying to get no nice setup. I still work at No Jumper. Now, if I didn't work at No Jumper, I'd get a nice setup. And that's where these niggas' mindset is. This shit is just like, nigga, it's No Jumper is my livelihood. And if they cut my water off, then I don't really. I never had a passion for this. I never had. I never, uh, like, chased after this and sacrificed for it. So I don't really. You know what I mean, oh, show's canceled. Cool. I'll just go to the basement. Nigga, you should be a fucking. Six figure nigga I'm not saying I, I, I mean I'm a pocket watcher This podcast And we can pocket watch Proudly right Shout out my nigga Joe But I doubt a nigga's making six figures Now when he first came on He was Nigga yeah I'm making six figures I'm making more than Lush I'm making more than uh, T-Rail Damn Look at the tables I don't even fuck with L-Rail I don't like mm, Come on bro That zesty bro Uh The Financier package and all that I don't You know what I mean And he like You I remember you went on back and forth Like yeah I'm making more than both of y'all And like you You know what I mean Now Lush is like Still on the Tuesday show You have no shows So What's the moral of this story The moral of all of this is Stay humble <laughs> Or a lot Whoever your God is Whether it's Buddha Whether it's Jesus Whoever it is You are gonna get humbled he will humble you. You thinking you here? He gonna, you know what I mean? And then he'll be like, "Hey, that I thought it was me that was capable of doing all of that." In actuality, it was you that was just blessing me and opening doors for me. How foolish of me to think that it was just me. <laughs> and now a nigga bring you back to the basement. Now you're like, "Okay, okay, we got, we got a what's going on here." <laughs> but I mean, you'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. Just um, really dedicate yourself and own in onto the craft. Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all thought that sipping double cups and popping perks on podcasts and nodding off half the podcast, y'all thought y'all were going to get, a, like, a, a loyal audience. I don't know where the fuck y'all got that from. I don't know. And probably, like, there's probably drugs. And he's probably burnt down your brain. You know, contrary to your popular belief, if y'all know my history and my background, y'all would be like, ain't no fucking way. But anyways, I understand when, when there's a, a shortage of brain circulation. Niggas is they brain they burnt them circuits out. All the drink all, cause you sipping a double cup on a long format content where people are trying to come for either information, substance, comedy, anything. You just uh, yeah, uh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, like it's cheating the audience, bro. It's cheating the audience. As simple as that. It, it, it's cheating the audience. And um, mediocrity did, mediocrity doesn't get rewarded. Take that how you will. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments.